We are at the MGM Grand Buffet. We are going to go inside. They have brunch. They are open only from 8 to 3, so you can get brunch only. Monday through Thursday, it is $31.99. Friday through Sunday, it's $37.99. Or they have the all-you-can-drink bottomless mimosa brunch for $42.99, Fridays and Saturdays. So we're going to head inside. It's been a little while since we've been here, and I just remember it's sort of being a mediocre, kind of middle-of-the-run buffet. We're going to see if they made any changes to make some improvements. Let's go on inside. We went and got a lay of the land to kind of see where everything is and what the options were. They do have self-service beverage stations. There are two of them on opposite sides of the buffet. So I went over and took a look. They do have a machine that has a couple types of juices. They have one of those Coke machines that has basically every type of soda you can think of. They have a machine that serves coffee and hot water. Just note though, if you are a tea drinker, they only had one type of tea. It's just black tea that's available. And they had a machine that had milk for you as well. Now, walking around the buffet, they do have some lunch options and some breakfast options. This is brunch, it's from eight to three. So I wanted to start with breakfast and I got myself a little plate of breakfast items here. So I have some eggs, bacon, sausage, French toast, and pancakes. And these are actually chocolate chip pancakes. All right, let's get started. Just have some of these eggs. Now they do have an omelet station. So if you'd prefer just to have fresh made omelets, that is a possibility too. All right, not great. Oh, and I did get a little bit of hash browns too. So the hash browns were not like little hash brown nuggets or patties, they were actually hash browns that you serve, which I like better than uh, the little patties. Mm. They don't have the same oomph, I think because they have, um, they're kind of been sitting there or they're not crispy like they should be on the outside. But they are seasoned, which was kind of surprising. I thought I was gonna have to add like a lot of salt. All right. Eggs, in. Eh. Hash browns, in. Eh. All right, let's take a bite of this sausage. It was just pork sausage. That was the only option there. They didn't have chicken sausage, just regular old pork sausage. It's fine. There's nothing really um, special or unique about the sausage. All right, and let's see how this bacon is cooked. It looks um, kind of in between, not crispy and not too soggy. I feel like the bacon was cooked well. Good, not crispy, not soggy. All right, so they had a syrup. Um, available and you just get yourself a little cup. I don't like too much, so add a little there. Let's try this chocolate chip pancake. I did put a little butter. They had butter packets available on the side. All right. These are not too bad. They um, you can taste that chocolate chip in there. And I will say that like the batter, the batter tastes pretty good, especially when you put the butter on top of it. But the batter does not have, um, I don't know how to, say, how to say it, but sometimes when you go to like buffets, the pancakes just, they just don't taste like, they taste like they're totally out of a box. These actually do taste like they are made kind of fresh. All right, French toast. All right. The French toast is not bad. The bread is just very, like, plain, I guess I would say. There's nothing special about the bread, um, but I do taste a hint of cinnamon in there. So the flavor is really good. I think I would um, probably, I like the carbs so far. I like the, the French toast and the pancakes. Um, they're pretty good. All right, we'll finish this and go get some more food. 
The weekend brunch includes mimosas. Now, I'm not a drinker really, and I thought that I could get a package that did not have the mimosas. And online it showed a package that was $5 cheaper without mimosas. But when we went to go pay, they're like, no, there's just one price. And that was the price with the mimosas, so $42.99. But if I'm gonna pay for it, I might as well have one, so. All right, not bad. You do have to go to the bar to get your mimosas, so just note that they will not bring them to you. You will go get them yourself. Okay, we hit up the carving station. So I have some roasted chicken, some ham, turkey, sausage, and roast beef. There's also some au jus on the side, and we got some more bacon, and the omelet station will also make you eggs anyway, so I got here some eggs over medium, and there was some roasted salsa that looked pretty good, so we'll try that out as well. All right, so let's start with the good stuff, the meat. Let's see how this ham is. Mm. Has a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Very tender, a little salty, but it's a, uh, it's got a good flavor to it. And I would expect salty from ham anyway. Let's try some of this turkey. One thing I noticed I, I did not see, and, and I'll have to go back and take a look, but I didn't see mashed potatoes there. And I don't know how you can have a carving station without mashed potatoes. Let's see. Mm. The turkey's got a really good flavor, but it is very dry. Let's try it with some of this au jus. I'm conflicted because it actually is really good. It just, it's very, very dry. All right, the sausage seems very juicy. Mm. Sausage doesn't, I don't know what it is. I don't like the sausage at all. I, and I can't pinpoint what it is. There's some herb in there and I know they put it in a lot of sausages, but it just doesn't even taste like sausage that I've had at other, you know, carving stations or something that you would have with those kind of meats. All right, now I want to try this roast beef. Get that au jus. Mm, it's tender. Tender, lacking in flavor, I'd say. I really don't taste any flavor, and, and actually the au jus does not really help either. All right, this roasted chicken looked really good. Let's try a piece here. Mm. Mm. The roasted chicken is good. It's dry, kind of like the turkey is, but it's also got just excellent flavor. I like the chicken, I like the turkey, I like the ham. The roast beef is not my favorite. All right. Now, I'm not expecting the eggs to be anything out of the ordinary, but at least they're freshly cooked and I'm sure that they are going to be a lot better than the ones that are just sitting there. Yeah, and they seasoned them too. All right, there's some hash browns here that I'm gonna have with a little roasted salsa. See how spicy it is. Not very spicy. The, the salsa is, um, I don't even say it's like, has a roasted flavor to it, but now it kicks in. It must be habanero sauce because I've had this kind before where it doesn't have a lot of spice, but then as it settles in, it starts getting spicy. All right, that's pretty good salsa though. But it's cold, the salsa is cold. I mean, maybe they need to keep it cold, but I don't know. It's a, uh, if you're gonna mix it with hot food, it's not that great. So there's still more food to check out, so I will be back with more. I found the mashed potatoes. So it was on the complete opposite side of the buffet from where the carving station is, so a very odd placement for that. But over near the mashed potatoes, they also had some Brussels sprouts and some ribs. And then next to that, they did have some fried shrimp, so I grabbed one of those. But the reason I had got up to go get more food is because there was an area that had biscuits and gravy and some fried chicken and corned beef hash. So 
I'm gonna try these mashed potatoes first since I was talking about them. Oh, there's gravy that you can put on top. It just looks like a brown gravy. Ooh, the mashed potatoes have a nice um, little bit of garlicky flavor to them, but not overpowering at all. The gravy just tastes like your kind of traditional brown gravy. I would say something that you could probably make at home out of a little packet. <laughs> All right. Let's try this rib. It looks like beef ribs. Mm, pretty tender. Some of them were falling off. The meat was falling off, but I wanted to get a, a whole one. Um, I would say flavor-wise and like kind of texture-wise, there's a little bit of a spice to it, like a barbecue sauce glazed on top of it. It's a little sweet, but also a little spicy, like almost like it was rubbed with some spices and then barbecue sauce put it on top before it was grilled. It's got decent flavor and it's tender, which I like that. All right, these Brussels sprouts to me look questionable. I'm like, I like Brussels sprouts to an extent, but they have to be cooked right. So let's see. Nope. All right. The texture, they're just not roasted enough. They taste like a little too raw for my liking. And honestly, there's nothing on them. There's no flavor. It doesn't taste like, I don't even know if they put salt or pepper or anything on them. They just kind of taste like they were somewhat cooked. All right, let's try the biscuits and gravy. So the gravy is pretty salty, which is kind of okay because the biscuit is not, so it's not too overpowering. The biscuit, the biscuit does, just does not taste all that great. I think the Pillsbury ones are probably even better. They're just like, they're okay. They're kind of like a texture wise, they're good. A little crispy on the outside. And soft on the inside, but but there's um, the flavor of it doesn't um, doesn't really taste like anything that's been made in house. All right, let's try some of this corned beef hash. That's pretty good. There's um, a good ratio of the the hash and the potatoes in there. The meat is salty as it should be. I imagine if you have some eggs with this, it pair very well together. I would say yes to this corned beef hash. Um, let's get a little bit of this fried chicken filet. You know, you could make a little chicken biscuit out of it, I suppose, if you really wanted to. Let's dip it in some of this gravy. Actually, I think it's chicken fried steak. And honestly, the breading is soggy. So that's a turn off for me right there. All right, the last thing I got was a fried shrimp. Now it has barbecue sauce on it, but I'm sure that's not gonna take away from the, from the shrimp. Let's try it. been sitting there for a while so the crispiness is not crispy anymore the shrimp itself is fine but the fact that it's been sitting there for a while you can kind of tell and it just doesn't have that same crispiness like when they're freshly fried so they'll be okay if they are freshly fried but I don't think I would necessarily come to the buffet and aim for these shrimp either so all right there's still a little bit more we got to try so let's go see
There were a few more things that I wanted to try before we hit the dessert bar. So I got some beef tenderloin. It's cooked in with mushrooms and onions. So let's try this beef out. All right. It's got a um, little bit of a peppery flavor to it. It is tender. Mm, a little bit drier though. I'm finding that a lot of the meats are, are kind of dry. They had some herb roasted chicken here. buttery. It is dry, but I did get a breast piece, a little piece of breast here, so that might be why it's dry. But I don't know. I think I would um, pass on this one and get the roasted chicken that was with the carving station if I really want the chicken. They had this a Veracruz style trout. Skin on and everything, so let's try to get some of this without the skin. Flavor's good. Kind of a, a little bit of a tomato herby flavor to it. Dry. Dry. I'm, I'm sensing this is a theme. Dry meat. All right, this mac and cheese here. Hmm. Okay. Mac and cheese. It's definitely not like a crap mac and cheese. There's actual cheddar that you taste in here. It's pretty good, actually. A good, good cheesiness to it. With a little bit of that butter creaminess. Now this is some rice pilaf. Light, light and fluffy. It's a good, um, a good balance of flavor because I, I don't want this to be too overpowering. Sometimes I've had rice pilaf where it's very overpowering. Just got enough um, enough seasoning in there. All right, and this roasted squash. There are some other vegetables that look like they're mixed in, but I just want to get this squash here. like the Brussels sprouts could be cooked a little bit more, a little more roasted. But. All right, finish this up and then we are hitting desserts. One thing I have to say, I'm a little bothered by the way that they advertise their pricing. So I went online this morning and it shows the pricing for the buffet Monday through Thursday at $31.99 and Friday through Sunday it shows $37.99. But it also shows that on Saturdays and Sundays they have a mimosa, bottomless mimosa brunch for $42.99. So when we came up to the cashier to pay, I told her that I did not want the mimosas. I'm not a drinker, the cameraman's not really a drinker either. I like got one mimosa and I'm still working on this sucker. And so you're paying basically an extra $5 and they're not really getting the benefit out of it. And that's fine if that's what they showed on their website, but they show both options. So they should be giving me the $37.99 price. I think it's a little bit of false advertising if you ask me. Now, for those of you who are drinkers, in addition to the bottomless mimosa option, you can pay for all you can drink, mimosas, beer, and wine for $21.99. And if you wanna add well liquors, that is $25.99 for that package. I went over to the dessert bar and I was very disappointed in what I found. Basically, it's breakfast pastries that are there. There are no real desserts. 
these breakfast items should probably be included somewhere else as part of the breakfast buffet area. But no, they have them there. So I did get a banana nut muffin. They also had some chocolate muffins. And oddly enough, they were kind of repeated. I saw the muffins twice in a very kind of small area. So they didn't have many options. They had some croissants and some danishes there as well. And I got a pumpkin danish to go along with that. So I'm gonna take a little bite of this, see if this is good. Sweet, just enough banana. This is like bakery quality. I will give them that. All right, it's good. Just not what I expected. Let's try this pumpkin Danish. I just thought that was interesting. It's almost like, like a pumpkin pie, but in a Danish. So, a little glazed outside there. A nice sweet pumpkin filling on the inside. And the the actually the actual Danish, the, the pastry itself, is a nice consistency. It's flaky. All right. I do like that, but I want a dessert not pastries. All right, see, they did have a machine there for ice cream, but there were just um, mango and lychee, which I thought was an, very interesting. And they, were, they did have some cones, but I just got a little bowl of a mango. I usually love mango ice cream, and usually because there's like this tartness to it. This doesn't even taste like mango. creamier than I expected. A lot of times these are more like a sorbet. Just kind of tastes like sugar. <laughs> Nothing really, sugar and cream, no real mango flavor. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back with my final thoughts on the MGM buffet. One thing you should know if you're coming to the MGM Grand Buffet or any other buffet in Las Vegas is that even though they say it is all you can eat, they do put a time limit on the amount of time you can spend here. So here it is 90 minutes, but I'll tell you what, in those 90 minutes, you can really stuff your face. I am so full. So now for my overall thoughts on the MGM Grand Buffet. So let's talk about the things that I liked. I did like the pancakes and the French toast. Some of those breakfast items were really good. I liked the ribs. That meat was so tender, fell off your bone and just a good flavor to it. The carving station meats had a really good flavor, but the meats were pretty dry. And that was what I found with all the meats that we tried here. Most of them actually were pretty dry. So other things that I liked, even though I complained about the dessert bar, not really having true traditional desserts, having pastries, those pastries were actually really good. So other things that I kind of noticed that they don't have here at MGM Buffet is that they don't have the different sections like the Mexican food or an Asian food, Italian food. I, it seems like a lot of the buffets that we go to have different areas with different cuisines and they do not have that here. So overall, I would say that the food is sort of average. I don't think that anything wowed me, but I will say that nothing really disgusted me. There was nothing that I said, oh, I just can't eat this. It was just okay. It was mediocre food. So if you are looking to fill your belly with decent quality food, it might be worth it for you to pay the $42.99, especially if you're drinking mimosas along with it. But if you are not a big eater, maybe it's not gonna be worth it for you. Maybe you'd rather spend your money elsewhere to get high quality food. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you wanna see another buffet, be sure to check out this one here. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.